We're gonna learn in this video how to write basic HTML. Now HTML is one of the things that's most, I don't know, it's everywhere. It's sort of like a background uh, thing that you've probably picked up even if you've just been on the internet. Um, but I did a series a couple weeks ago starting about like how to have your own website, how to start your own website. But uh, I didn't actually do anything about writing a website. It's a very easy process. Now, of course, I should say we're gonna learn HTML in this video. Um, you can do these fancy and complicated static site generators or, uh, you know, all these other ways of generating a website. But I, I just think the Chad way of writing a website is just opening it up and writing HTML. That's what I do. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Uh, I am going to be using Vim as my editor because people on the internet told me it's cool. Um, and usually to start a website, you're going to start an index.html file. Okay, and that's because if you go to like yourwebsite.com, if you go to my website, which is lukesmith.xyz, it's automatically gonna seek the index file. Um, that's gonna be the main page. Now, I'm gonna do something a little irregular. Usually when you hear people doing tutorials on HTML or anything else, um, they start by telling you, okay, you gotta put in a doc, ta a doc type and all this other stuff. The thing about HTML is that how it's rendered in browsers, you basically can be a retarded boomer and still write HTML and it will still work in most browsers. You actually don't, I mean, now, now of course this is, don't do this, but I, I should just say, you can actually just start writing, oh, here's our header, so here is, uh, you know, the Uniboomers cabin, the name of my website, and, um, or at least the one that I was making in the last video, and so this is a sentence, okay? So technically speaking, in order to have a properly formatted HTML page, you need other things like this. But most browsers, if I open this up in my browser, it's actually gonna render it, okay? Now, first off, what does HTML usually look like? Now I should say, if you just, you gotta stick to learn how to add in the, the other information about a, a file, but I, I just wanna go into what this basic stuff means. Um, so if you look here, what have I done here? Now this, h1 thingy is going to render as a big header okay and this p thing this actually stands for paragraph it's rendering as a paragraph okay um so basically you've probably seen people use tags colloquially on the internet you know people are probably like you know slash sarcasm ha 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 i can't spell sarcasm but who care who cares um, that, of course, is imitating the tags of HTML. So basically, in order to say that something is a paragraph, we open the P tag, we put some stuff in it. Here is another paragraph. Uh, and then once we're done, we close the P tag. Okay, so that is, in general, how all of HTML is going to work. Now, there are some tags that do not need to be closed. We'll talk about those as well. Um, but just to be clear, so let's play around with this a little bit. So I can, of course, have multiple paragraphs. Okay, and you'll see that each one of them is going to be formatted differently. Um, let's say I delete, let's say I delete these. Okay, let's say I'm a boomer and I don't know how to write HTML. So I, I, I like uh, only have half of the syntax there. One thing about HTML is that most browsers are going to just try and guess. You know, even if you have bad syntax like this, they're just going to try and guess what you mean there. Okay, so you could delete the beginning of these tags or the ends of these tags, at least in the case of the paragraph tag, and it will render it correctly. Now, that's not going to work for everything. If you like delete the end of the header tag, it's going to be like, okay, I guess those are all uh, headers. But um, anyway, or heading, I should say, those are technically different things. Um, so anyway, that but uh, in addition to this, so we know how to write paragraphs. We know how to write headers uh, or headings. Um, so here's another one, another heading. Now notice, of course, both of these have H1. H1 is basically the, uh, the biggest heading. So if I look at this now, you have a big heading, you have a big heading. The one here, just to be clear, does not mean the first heading at the top. It means the biggest type of heading. If we put in an H2 here, that is basically a subheading. So subheading, okay. So if we put in an H2, let's see what that looks like. It looks like a smut, it's, it's a heading, but it's slightly smaller, okay? Or if we put in an H3, that's gonna be the same deal, okay? So an H3 is like a sub subheading, okay? Change this to H3, let's look at that. So this is even smaller, and I think it goes down to like H6 or something like that, um, okay? So in addition, let me actually move this over here because we're writing more stuff. 
Um, let's say something like text formatting. So let's format a bold text or italic text, okay? Or actually we can do or underline text, okay? So in each of these cases, bold is just going to be uh, the B tag, I is going to be the I tag, and uh, U is going to be the, or underlined is going to be the U tag. You see in each of these cases it's produced the text that we want, okay? Uh, and of course you cannot, like the paragraph tags, you can't mess these up. It's going to get confused if you like delete the end of this. It's probably going to bold everything for the rest of the document, yep. Um, and notice, oh actually I should say, so you should know that you can like put bold tags inside of italic tags to make it like uh, both bold and italic or something like that. Now it's usually thought of as slightly better form to use these however, okay? So for example, uh, you know, here is the strong uh, tag, Oops, strong tag, and the emphatic tag, okay? so. Um, I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Now, strong text is basically gonna look exactly like bold. It, ba it is predefined as being exactly bold. Uh, and emphatic is gonna look exactly like italic. Now, technically, now the reason there's a difference between strong and B and inf and italic is because basically the bold, the B and the I and the U tag, they're not supposed to change. They're always gonna be the same. Um, but it's usually thought of as better form to use the strong tag or the emphatic tag because when you go into actually changing the style sheet of your website, uh, it's better form to be able to modify like the strong tag. Let's say you instead of um, wanting something emphatic to be italic, you want to change it to be maybe it's underlined or, or green or flashing or something like that. You can do that in uh, CSS by modifying the M tag, okay? Uh, but it's sort of bad form to modify the I tag directly. Okay, that's what that's for. Um, now before we get to that though, uh, let's do at least one more thing. One thing you do pretty common is make lists. How do you make a list in HTML? It's not too difficult. Um, we'll, we'll make an ordered list. Now to make an ordered list, I'm gonna use the OL tag, ordered list. And inside of that, you can have LI tags. That means a list item. So here is a list item. Okay, and I'm going to close that tag, and in fact, I'm going to multiply that a couple times, and let's see what that is going to look like. Um, now we have a list, and we have seven items in it. Notice that HTML has automatically numbered all of these set of seven items. That is part of the uh, uh, ordered list. Um, now, if you just want an unordered list or a bulleted list, just use UL for unordered list. And if you run that, if you see what that looks like, oh, it's just going to have bullets. Um, and in each of these cases, you can actually, let's say I copy this lit, this entire list and I'm gonna paste, uh, I'm gonna paste it inside of this list. Okay, so now we have a list inside of a list. What is that gonna look like? Okay, um, well, it's good. You're basically gonna have a sub list and it has a slightly different annotation here, uh, a little, uh, you know, dot without stuff filled in. Okay, so that is basic HTML formatting. This is not just the kind of stuff you use in making a website, but you also might, you know, use a web form that requires HTML formatting. Now, all of you people who are web devs are screaming right now because I have just been writing HTML without having a proper header uh, or heading uh, with a doc type and all that other stuff. Now, I said HTML, as it's rendered in browsers, is usually very, very forgiving. Um, but there are certain things that you always want to include in your HTML documents, okay? One of the most important ones at the very top and the very first line should be this. It should be exclamation point, doc type, and then HTML. And that's HTML is going to be lowercase, doc type is going to be capital. Um, now that is basically just telling your browser or, you know, other people's browser when they look at your uh, website that this is a proper HTML document. If it does not see this, your browser is basically going to guess exactly how to format it. And it might guess wrong or it might be something weird. I think if you don't include this, um, it's it, like Internet Explorer at least will totally break. Okay, so that's something you don't want to happen. Um, additionally, you want to set a uh, an HTML tag and you want to include some information about this HTML that you're writing. Okay, so for example, you might, you're probably going to want to do this, HTML set lang equal to en for English. 
Uh, so we've opened this HTML tag at the top and I'm gonna end it at the bottom, okay? That is good form to have. And also the body text of your document is usually put into a body tag. So I'm gonna open this tag up here and I'm gonna close it at the bottom right before uh, HTML. Notice that the body tag is inside of HTML, okay? Now the reason for this, now the, the reason you usually do this is multifold actually, uh, but one, one of the reasons is we might want to set, when we start do, doing styling and coloring and stuff in CSS, we might want to set specific um, uh, like traits for the text that's inside of the body and things like that. And that also, it also helps, helps with rendering across platforms and things like that. Now, last and not least, you want to have a head, okay, or, uh, you know, a header in here. And you basically, this basically contains metadata and other information about your um, document, okay. First off, notice in my browser that this is named index.html. Now, if I were to put this up on a website, it would probably show up there as index.html or maybe, uh, depending on what kind of server you have um, displaying, that might do something different. But really, we want to set a title for this. How do you set a title? Well, you set it in the head tag. You say title, um, the uni whatever you want to name your site, the Uniboomers cabin, okay? Title. Um, now, if I refresh this, you will see, oh, now it has a proper title. Okay, that's good. Another thing that you are gonna to wanna to do, I had to write this down because I always get it a little wrong, okay, is that you are going to wanna to set to have uh, Unicode character, proper UTF-8 characters. So that is meta, uh, car set, chair set, however you wanna say it, char set, uh, UTF-8, okay, and a slash there. And that is just telling your browser, okay, I want to use, the, you know, if you're using a non-English uh, language, uh, everything is going to show up as a mess until you have some this thing included. Uh, so that is something you are definitely going to want. Um, additionally, now now that we've sort of gotten out, this is basically what you need for a bare bones. I've sort of formatted this ugly because I, you know, we could take this and I, I don't know, move it out a little bit. Uh, so it, I don't know. See, I'm usually not the person who even tabs in on anything. Usually I just keep it all to the left side. But uh, this is basically a bare bones web page. Okay, so we have our doc type. We have our header here um, that uh, tells us that we're using Unicode uh, UTF-8 um, and tells us what the title is. And then we have the, the text, the, the actual content of our website. And again, as I said, like sometimes HTML is a little forgiving, um, but uh, don't rely on that. Always make sure to write, you know, good HTML code. Um, now, let's talk about how you actually change what this, like the colors and stuff. Let's say you want to uh, edit, edit it. Let's say you want to put it maybe in the middle of the screen instead of over here on the left side or something like that. Well, what we do is we create a CSS uh, style sheet. CSS uh, stands for cascading style sheet. So a CSS style sheet, I guess, is a uh, cascading style sheet, style sheet, uh, but you know, whatever. Um, you're probably not supposed to say it that way, but who cares? Now the thing, basically what you do is you tell your web page, okay, I'm gonna have a style sheet, it's gonna be this separate file, and I am going to use that um, for, I'm gonna put all the information you need there. So in your head tag here, we're gonna have another thing here, we're gonna say link, and it's gonna say ref, uh, or rel, excuse me, uh, style sheet, style sheet, um, and then I want to say it's, I think I wrote it down, yeah, type, it's going to be text, CSS, Ooh, I cannot type today at all, um, and then also you're going to give it the file name, or really href, but this is the file name, and I'm going to name my file style.css, you can name it theoretically anything, okay. So now, what this is going to do, if you just run it and see what happens, nothing is going to change on your website. But um, now what this is going to say is this HTML document is going to look for this file, styles.css, and it is going to look for um, all the, the you know extra settings that you set there for how it's going to look. Let's go ahead and start doing some of that. I'm going to create this new file, style.css. Uh, and let's start playing with it. Now let's modify our body tag, okay? So as I said, we have a body tag 
uh, that we can modify. We can put, you know, information, uh, different settings in there. Let's say uh, I, like everyone else on the internet, hates having a light theme. Light themes are utter cringe. I want to get rid of it. I want this to be dark, easy on the eyes, you know. If you're a neat, if you're in your dark room browsing, you don't want, you know, all this white background all over the place. So I'm going to say this. I'm going to say color, and color usually refers to the color of the text. I'm going to say color is going to be white, and I'm going to say the background is going to be black. Okay, these are settings built into CSS. Now if I run that, you'll see that, oh, look at that. Now we have a nice dark site, okay? Nice and readable. You can edit other things as well. Let's say I want to edit the headings. Let's say I want them to stick out a little more, okay? Uh, you can do things like this. You can say H1, and I'm going to say the color of that is going to be red. Okay, that'll make it stick out very, I don't know, very strong. Okay, so now our H1s are sticking out, okay? Or you can do something, I mean, let's say we want H2s to stick out as well. We have one of those second headings. We can go in here and add a little block that says H2 is going to be red, okay? Now, of course, there's an easier way to do this. Let's say both H1 and H2 are going to have the same settings. Well, I could just get rid of this and say, um, you know, comma, H2, and that is actually going to apply to both of those, you know, none of it's going to change. But it's sometimes good form to keep them separate, especially if you want to later go in and change. Let's say I want H2s to be green or something like that, okay? So you can change things like that. Um, let's see what else. So let's say um, I mentioned that um, you could change stuff like, let's change what we want emphatic text to look like, because we had this little emphatic uh, stuff here. Let's say I want that to be um, you know, font size large. This is probably going to look really ugly, but it can be done. Okay, so that's going to get a little bigger. Actually, let's make it extra, extra large. X, X large. Okay, so that is going to be really big. Now that looks ugly, but that's just something you can do with the tag. Let's say, you know, maybe something more realistic is you change the color to be yellow. Actually, that's still going to look ugly, but who cares? We're, this is an example video, okay? So this adds a little a little change to your site here. Um, additionally, let's say we have a list items here. Let's say uh, our list items are too big. That's just something I want people to go over. We can change um, the size of list items. Uh, let's say font size uh, small, okay? Uh, so that is gonna decrease the size of these list items, just if you want that, okay? And this goes for anything. Now, I'm not gonna show you everything you can do with CSS. I just wanna give you an idea with it. Um, but you can go in and start changing how things look and how they're organized, okay? Another thing you'll pro you're probably going to want is, you know, on this web page at least, um, all of our text is on the left side. That is by default how everything is going to display in HTML. Let's say we want to change that. Um, there are a couple things you're going to want to do. Uh, we're going to set some settings to the body tag, but um, uh, there are a couple things we're going to want to do. We want to say something like this. Um, so let's say max width. Uh, we want it to be 800 pixels, okay? Uh, and I'm gonna do two other things. Uh, let's say uh, margin left is gonna be auto and margin right is gonna be auto, okay? Now, if I look at this document, I'm gonna refresh it. Now that what that's gonna do is it's sort of gonna display it in the middle. Now, what we've told using the CSS, what we have told it to do is said this, okay. The body tag, let's treat it as if it is only 800 pixels wide. So instead of just automatically being the whole thing, it's only going to be 800 pixels. So it's going to be, let's say, the 800 pixels in here. Um, we've also told it to, when you give it the, the margin left, margin right thing, that basically, or the make them automatic, that basically just says, well, in this case, it's just going to say center it. And it's going to, so the body is just going to be the 800 pixels in the middle. Um, if we change this to like 600 or something like that, you're going to notice that it moves a little in. Now it is only the 600 pixels in the middle or something like that. Or let's say, um, you know, a thousand or something like that. Okay. Um, so that is sort of a way of centering things. Now, if you just want text to be aligned or something like that, well, uh, let's say uh, 800. That'll be, that'll be what we stick with. Okay. Does that look okay? Um, you can also just align text. Um, uh, you could, let's say we want our uh, headings to be um, in the middle of everything. So let's say we want H1 and H2 to be centered. You can say text align, okay, 
Uh, center. I think that's how you do it. Okay, let's let's look at this. So I'm going to refresh it, refresh it. Okay, so now all of our headings are in the middle. Uh, this actually looks a little ugly, and the reason it does is we don't have text that like goes through the entire. Like normally, paragraph text would be taken up like all this space over to this side, so it would look sort of nice. But since we're not writing that much, it all looks sort of ugly. Um, but that that's how you center text and things like that. Um, so. HTML and CSS, hopefully this has given you sort of a view of how to do basic things in them. Uh, but I want to talk about two more things that I think are pretty essential. Um, now, I will say this, of course, is not, has not been exhaustive. You're going to have to uh, learn some of this stuff on your, uh, by yourself. But two more things I think are important. Uh, one is making links to other pages. And the other is adding images. So let's do those really briefly. Let's say I'm going to make another... Uh, I'm going to make another page. I'm going to call it another.html. Okay, so here's a new blank HTML document. I'm actually going to go ahead and copy in most of this stuff that is required. Okay, so we got our HTML tag. We got our, um, our header up here. I'm going to change this title to another page. Uh, and we have our body tag. And I'm going to go ahead and write something in here. You know, here is another page. Okay. So uh, in a paragraph here is some cool content, exclamation point. And let's open this in a browser and we'll see that, okay, now we have another page. So how do we link this page to our original page? Very, very easy uh, to do one or vice versa, it doesn't matter. Um, let's say up here I wanna, on our original page, um, I'll say uh, check out this other page. Okay, and let's say I want this to be the link. So what you do is you use the A tag, and what you do, that is gonna look something like this, okay? And A is basically for a hyperlink. And um, you give it the href option, and the href is just gonna be, what do you want this to link to? I want it to link to the page another.html. It's in the same directory, it's gonna be on the same directory in that website as this page. Um, so whenever we click on, let's, well, let's actually see how it looks, you know. So it's going to show up with a little link here, ugh, excuse me, link here. And if I click on that, just to verify, I'm going to close this out. But just to click on this, it is going to go to this other page. Excellent. Okay. Um, in addition, if I go to that other page, uh, I can add a link back to the index. So let's say um, href. Uh, index.html, remember that's the name of our main page, and I'm going to say return to the home page. Okay, close uh, those tags there, that paragraph tag and the A tag. So it's going to say return to home page. I, I really need to change the uh, CSS because it's hard to read here, but that is going to return us to where we belong. Okay, so that is how to do links. Now, if you want to link to a website, Let's say I want to link to, I mean, another website, not just like a page that you've created. Well, then you just put the URL here. Let's say I want to link to my website, https colon slash slash lukesmith.xyz. You got to include https, stuff like that if you're doing a, a foreign website. So now there's this link and I can click on it and it is going to take me to my website. Okay, so there's my website, another web page on the internet, which is loading slow because I'm out in the middle of nowhere and I have bad internet. I need to get rid of all this, all these pictures. I need to slim down my website. I need it to look, I need it to look more like this. Okay. Um, so that is how you add links. And uh, I mentioned adding images. Let's add images. I've actually, in this directory, I have included um, a little image, cabin.gif. It's actually a GIF file, as you can guess. Um, so you can, of course, have, have moving GIFs. Um, to include an image, you're going to do this. Obviously, it's the image tag. You don't need to close this tag. You just say image source and then name the file cabin.gif. It needs to be in the same directory or if it's in another directory, let's say it's in your pics directory uh, inside this website, it's going to be like that. Uh, but cabin, uh, that is just going to make the, uh, the image appear. And it's a GIF. It's moving around. Okay, great. So working is according to plan. It's also a good habit to add in some other information. Let's say... Alt, which is going to be, let's say the image can't display, um, it's going to display this alternative text. So we'll just say this is cabin or something like that. And you can also do title and, uh, you know, this is a cabin, okay? 
So what that is gonna do if I refresh this page, if I mouse over it, it's gonna say this is a cabin. Okay, that's how you do that. All right, so uh, I've done basically what I consider all the basics of HTML. Um, so again, remember to have all your, ba your doc type, all this kind of stuff up here. Hopefully that has made, I have made sense of how to do basic formatting, linking, images, some CSS. The world of CSS is very big. I encourage you to check it out yourself. I cannot teach you all of it, but um, I might do another video, maybe on divs and other things like that, you know, how to do uh, more special stuff. But this will give you at least what you need to make a nice 1990s uh, boomer website like this. This looks so nice. I don't know, I wish the internet still looked like this. But um, you can do your part by having a simple HTML website. Um, okay, so that's it. See you guys next time.